And welcome to this week's edition of the Steel Report, a real treat for you this week. I have two members, star members of the University of Northern Iowa men's basketball team here to talk about an important basketball camp coming up here in just a few days. Right now, let's meet our guest, big number 32 for the UNI Panthers. That, of course, is Titan Anderson, a 6'7 senior out of North Scott High School. He's from Davenport, a Panther starter and team captain who had some huge games for Ben Jacobson and the Panthers this past season, including, remember that, big game against Belmont, all-time Missouri Valley Conference tournament record, 19 rebounds and 19 points in that big game as the Panthers won it 67-62 in the MVC quarterfinals. Titan, congratulations on the career you are having at UNI. Is this spectacular so far? Welcome to the program. And please welcome first team All-Missouri Valley Conference guard, point guard Bowen Bourne, the 5'11 senior, is out of Norwalk. He was first team All-State in high school. In fact, he led his team from Norwalk to a state championship. He had 36 points a game that year, by the way. Do you remember that? It seems like I a do. long time ago, <laughs> doesn't it? He's a three-year starter for Coach Ben Jacobson at UNI. In fact, uh, my oldest grandson, I mentioned, he shoots left-handed, Bowen, and I've been telling him, you've got to watch this young man from UNI. He's spectacular. You want to be just like he is in shooting the ball and handling the ball. So, Bowen, you're having a spectacular career. Both you guys are coming back next year, and that's fantastic. But we are here today talking about an event coming up here in just a few days. I don't know who wants to start, Bowen, why don't you talk about it. It's, it's for a fundraiser for the Panther Collective, and it's a basketball camp for basically all youth in the area. Yep, yes, sir. This is our uh, second annual Panther Collective basketball camp, and it's April 19th at Fit Courts. It's open to kids uh, first through sixth grade, and it's 5.30 to 7 o'clock. There's going to be a lot of really fun activities for the kids to do. You get a chance to interact with the team uh, and, and get better as a basketball player, but also as a person. So it's a super fun opportunity um, that's, yep, that's coming up here pretty soon. And the great thing about this, both of you guys will be there as part of the teachers, so to speak, who can learn from these uh, fellows as long, and also some UNI women will be there too from the women's basketball team. I don't know if Coach Warren will be there, but I know some of our star players will be there. So Titan, you probably went to many basketball camps when you were a kid. How valuable are they, and why do you think this one might be a particular special for the, for the young people of this area? Yeah, I think this basketball uh, camp is, is special just because uh, we're all going to be there interacting with them, having a good time, and we also get to bring in their family members. So if you want to come and uh, interact with us players and your kid as well and see how they interact with us, you're more than welcome to come, and we actually want, want that to happen. We want you guys to be there and uh, interact with us and uh, kind of walk them through drills and be there for them by their side. So Titan, you mentioned really parents are encouraged to come, but they, if they can't come there, that's no reason for them not to have their child take part. So Bowen, they can, they can come without a parent and one of the players will kind of become the, the parent that day for them, right? Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's very interactive. Um, we're able to allow you know, parents or guardians, your grandparent, you know, friends, it really doesn't matter. Um, it's just all about yeah, getting an interaction um, and having a positive association with basketball because basketball is a fun sport. It's supposed to be fun. So yeah, bring a friend, bring a grandparent, a parent. Um, doesn't really matter if, if you can't, then you obviously will have players uh, from the men's and women's basketball team able to participate in the drills with you. So let's talk about when people arrive at 530, the young people, and this is for first graders through sixth grade, boys and girls, kind of walk us through what's going to happen. Titan, what, what do you think is the most important part about a, a camp like that as far as fundamentals for this, a, a basketball? Yeah, I mean, I feel like you hit it right on the head. The fundamentals of basketball are, are really important. And it's also about knowing uh, things like being a great teammate, mm -hmm. having good interactions with people, and knowing how to kind of interact with people. So going along those lines, we're going to be there having a positive impact on these kids and uh, just showing them kind of the ropes of how to be a good teammate, how to be a good friend, and how to really enjoy basketball. And it's not always about being uh, overly aggressive or overly competitive in, uh, in basketball camps. Yeah, you guys are truly role models for probably more young people than you even realize and so you kind of have to watch what you're doing out in public you want to be that great role model is that something you think about consciously Bowen as far as growing up and having your own role models your dad was a Mike Bourne was a great player at Iowa State and he's a, a scout now for the Indiana Pacers of the National Basketball Association we talked about this earlier Bowen's grandfather was the great legendary coach the late Gene Kling Come on, 
Come on, Black! Here's a little video that of a story that I did several years ago, right before Gene became the, the winningest coach in Iowa basketball history, more than a thousand victories. He was kind enough to let me uh, put a wireless microphone on him one time through a game, and he was very colorful with his with his butch haircut and those orange socks or whatever whatever color socks he chose to wear that day. Just a fantastic person. So. In your family, basketball's been a part of your life. Character is something that's that's really important. You know, it's uh, it's who you are when nobody's watching, and so always, yeah, trying to carry yourself in the in the best way possible, trying to make the the right decisions, and yeah, I think having a basketball background with my family, um, you know, my parents, my grandparents, I think that's definitely played a part in, so yeah, where my drive comes from. Did your mom play over at West Central? I assume she did. She yeah. did, yeah. 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 She had to play for, for your did. grandfather, her dad. Yeah. Ooh, that must have been tough sometimes. You know. <laughs> Titan, what about your background? Where does your drive, your dedication toward the sport, do you remember where it began and who, who were some of your role models? Yeah, um, I would say my dad. I mean, he, he was a coach, uh, always coaching my brothers, uh, and he, now he coaches high school, so he's a coach yeah. over at North Scott. And uh, growing up, I was just always in the gym. He would always tell me that, uh, that I was going to do something special someday. And I always believed him, and I always just took pride in that and following in his footsteps of, of being a great basketball player. What you just said is so remarkably true. You have somebody in your corner encouraging you that, yes, you can do this. And that's what you try to do with these young people that come to your games, isn't it? Yeah, yeah for sure. I think you know, that's, that's one of the great things about basketball camps is, yeah, you're – you're able to kind of flourish um, and you know give a lot give a lot of kids you know some positive reinforcement through their sport and um, you know like Titan mentioned with interacting with other kids you start to create new friends in the community um, you know you just you learn a lot through basketball and that's a lot of you know lessons in my life have come through basketball and through sports and so battling adversity um, you know being able to go through some stuff um, and, and kind of rally with your with your team and with your friends has been something that has helped me and that I try to now do with the younger generation. Real quickly, let's talk about your majors. Titan, you're gonna come back and play next year. What, what, what's your major at UNI? What do you hope to do in the future? Uh, I'm a business management major and I have a minor in coaching. So more than likely, I would wanna move on to coaching, play basketball as long as I can. But yeah, coaching, I have a, I have a great passion for that. Bowen, how about you? What's your major? My major is, um, kinesiology and exercise science and then I also have a psychology major with a coaching minor so I kind of dabble in a little bit yeah. of everything a little bit of um, coaching um, and kind of some sports psych um, classes like that so I really enjoy my my classes at you and I when you look at coach Jacobson as a man and as your coach what goes through your mind what kind of a person is he he's a he's a great coach um, you know he does some some really special things and, and allows you to be you and so that's something that's that's one of the biggest reasons why I came here um, and why I am here is is because of Coach Jake and because of the relationships that I've built with the coaches. And Titan? Yeah, I mean his his win says it all. He's mm -hmm. a winner. He's a great he's a great person and he's a great uh he's just a great mentor and somebody that that outside of basketball he cares about you and uh, he'll always be there for you and in your corner rooting for you. So the transfer portal is something that's really in the mix now. Have either of you guys ever thought about that? I assume that loyalty is a, an important part of your lives. Uh, and how do you feel about that? Do you think it's a little out of control, or do you have a thought process on that? Yeah, it's definitely something that um, has changed, changed the scheme of college sports. And it's something that, um, yeah, I think is difficult to, to kind of grasp. You know, every day you see more and more people entering, uh, more and more people kind of making that decision. And it's definitely changed, changed college sports, but you kind of have to adapt to it. Um, and, and kind of just you know take it as it is. Yeah, you guys had a couple of players that entered the portal just in a few days ago. But how do you feel about that portal situation? The Titan is it something that's good for the game or bad for the game? Do you, or I feel like there's a lot of give and take. Yeah, I mean there's going to be a lot of uh, great players that come in and help our team out next year from the portal. So I'm I'm not necessarily against it or for it. I mean there's it's just all about opportunities and uh, and how you take that. You know, I love to watch you guys play. Uh, when you come down the floor as a point guard, you are, the, you are the main ball handler. So that is so critically important. Is this so instinctive for you, having played so many years, or is it something that you really have to think about as a player, or is it all instinct at this point? You know, I think there's a little bit of both. I think as you, as you progress through college um, and as you progress through you know, each year, you're going to kind of continue to get better and better and, and understand you know, the reads that you're making and, and the things that you're doing. So, 
I think it's a little bit of both. I think there's a, there's a big component of it that is your instinct and you have to rely on you know, your natural abilities to attack and be aggressive um, and take what the defense gives you. But there is also a big portion of it that is trained. Uh, you, know, you have to know where to look, um, you know, kind of what to do in certain situations based on what the defense mm -hmm. is doing. And Titan, has there ever been a time where you were moving out of the paint, coming down the baseline, and you're wide open and Bowen missed that pass? It was, you were so open. How did he do that? Oh, uh, no. I mean, he, he, he doesn't miss often. He, does, okay. he does not miss often. <laughs> Glad to hear you say that. I mean, you obviously enjoy being teammates and, and you rely on other teammates. It's a great team sport. You can learn so much about life from playing with another player of equal ability or even lesser or more ability. What do you like most about playing for you and I? Uh, I mean, I would just say that I enjoy the players that he recruits and the players that he brings in and uh, everybody on the team are lifelong friends and mm -hmm. brothers. and. Uh, they're all great guys, and it's just a lot of fun to just be a part of this group. So as you look to next year, I mean, the season just ended, but you're already looking to next year. What are the goals? Because this will be a very important season for you because this is it, you know, at UNI. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, as you, as you progress, and especially yeah, as you get toward your end of your career, you know, you want to just make sure you're getting the most out of it. And so um, in terms of big goals, I think everybody's big goal is, is to play in the NCAA tournament, and that's always been a goal of ours. And so... We'll continue to strive for that and reach for that, um, but also, yeah, just making sure that you're enjoying your time, uh, being able to, yeah, spend time with your teammates and, and just really enjoy, you know, your last year, uh, you know, playing college basketball. Just like you mentioned, like, these are the are best years of your life, so you got to make sure you, uh, you, that you take care of it um, and, and take advantage of it for sure. Titan, what's your goals for next year? Uh, I would say the same thing. I mean, our goal is always to play in the NCAA tournament mm -hmm. and, uh, and get some wins in there, it, not just make it, but... Um, yeah, and another goal is just to make our group as close as possible mm -hmm. just because we are going to have a new group. We are going to have some new key guys that are going to have to come in and play big minutes. So, I mean, just, just making sure everyone's as close and close-knit as possible is, uh, is a goal of mine for sure. Well, that's fantastic. I know Panther Nation loves both of you guys. They can't wait to see you play your final seasons next year. But right now, let's talk once again about the basketball camp coming up on April 19th. Let's uh, hear it from you, Bowen. Yes, sir. Yep. Uh, the second annual uh, UNI Men's Basketball Panther Collective Camp is on, yep, April 19th. It's 5.30 to 7 o'clock at Fit Courts. It costs $49, and it's open through uh, for kids first through sixth grade. should be a great opportunity for uh, youth to, to come get better at basketball, but also learn how to be a good teammate um, and really enjoy the game of basketball. So there's still plenty of time to sign up for this camp. We hope you'll all take part. Both you guys, uh, great careers at UNI. Keep it up. We're looking forward to seeing you play next year. Really appreciate you taking the time to come in to do the interview. Thanks a lot. Yep, really thank up. you. All no right, problem. more on the Steel Report coming up next, including an Iowa tax law passed over a year ago, which is having some negative unintended consequences. That's next.